if we have got a positive signal on both gene segments for the same block on two consecutive days or two out of three days, then it will raise an alert. And that alert would then trigger a whole series of cross-validation from the different departments so that you can interpret the positive signal and therefore decide on whether you are going to have a statutory order for public health action, like mandatory testing of the block. It is not a silver bullet at all. It is an adjunct, and the adjunct is such that we can either hopefully prevent a large cluster outbreak in any particular residential block. We can interrupt it by picking it up early so that before it really has the potential to spread, then we quickly test and isolate all the infected people. Once you have ordered mandatory testing for a block, then you should be, in theory, free of any further infections. But if sewage still picks up positive signals, then that tells you one of a few things. Either you've got incomplete enforcement of the testing, or you've got some environmental contamination that still poses a potential danger, or that you've got recovered patients who are still shedding remnants, non-infectious viral remnants in the sewage system. So that's why the interpretation is very, very delicate and it has to be exercised very carefully.